Hello, I am Bhavan to you all and chapter number one, Chemical Basis of Life, Science Grade 10. As per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus is one more time in front of you. We are going to talk about carbohydrates today in this video number three and let's talk about that in detail a new section it is and carbohydrates when we are talking about carbohydrates this is the most abundant organic compounds on earth this is definitely a biomolecule and an organic compound and they say that it is too much there on earth that's because they are produced during the photosynthesis of green plants when the green plants are doing the photosynthesis, it is getting produced. So the number of plants when we are comparing to the, the other organisms, it's very much, very much higher. We are talking about this piece of land. When we are talking this piece of land, the place where they grow potatoes, sweet potato, grains, sugar and flour is very much higher than the place where a human or another organism is living. For that reason, the carbohydrates becoming the most abundant organic compound on earth. On that note, the carbohydrates, when we are breaking and looking into it, it looks like this. Strange, isn't it? Okay, we are eating potato and we are eating this kind of a setup also. So what is this carbohydrates made of? Like we were talking about the bricks made out of water and clay, the carbohydrate is also made up of certain things. And the main elemental composition of carbohydrate is carbon, hydrogen and finally the oxygen. So as it is carbon and hydrogen present and that is going to be the organic compound where it is carbon and hydrogen is present. So the hydrogen and oxygen is present in the ratio to 2 to 1 in carbohydrates. So you can see there's the common molecular formula that says CX H2O times of Y. This H2O is definitely yes, it is water. Okay, so that is CX H2O Y. That's the common molecular formula. And you shouldn't forget this one because they might ask you in, in examinations what is the common molecular formula of carbohydrates and you should answer this. Now there are divisions of carbohydrates. Okay, so the more about carbs, the carbohydrates that has divisions that we are going to understand. As per the divisions, the molecular or formula is also changing. There are three types of carbohydrates. The first one is all about monosaccharides. And when we are talking about the monosaccharides, monosaccharides has a, a combination of equal X and equal Y. Also, okay, we are going to apply that one to that particular equation. The X being 6 over here, you can see that one. We are applying it as it is and Y we are applying as it is. So when we are applying X and Y, when we are solving the equation, 2 times 6 definitely, that is inside the bracket. When we are solving the bracket, it comes. Okay, so the 6 is applicable everywhere. That says C6H12O6. Now carbohydrates, monosaccharides formula solution is C6H12O6. What about the other divisions like disaccharides? Now, when we are coming to disaccharides, that's different. X is equal to 12 and Y is equal to 11, it comes. That says CXH2OY once again. We are applying that 12 here and Y over here. Now, how comes it is C12, H2 time 11 and O11. That says C12, H22 and O11. So the disaccharides formula is C6H2LO6 is mono and disaccharides formula is getting double up like C12, H22 and O11. And there is another one also that is polysaccharides. Now the polysaccharides are 
many numbers of monosaccharides. That means number of monosaccharides, molecules. It comes like C6H10O5 times of like if you are talking about 40, it will be multiplied by 40 and it comes as the many. Yes. So the monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides are the three things. So three, three groups of carbohydrates we must understand and we will learn everything in detail in our coming session. So there are three monosaccharides which are glucose, fructose and galactose and disaccharides. The formula you know, maltose, sucrose and lactose and polysaccharide starch, cellulose, glycogen. So these are the three groups of carbohydrates and what are the types of carbohydrates we have all are three and their divisions is exactly like that. So we came to know the carbohydrates as well. So we are going to see the rest of the other things about monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides and the respective saccharides below that in our next session. That's all for now and take care of your education and yourself. Bye-bye.